the question is find the coordinates of the point which divides the line joining the points 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 7 in the ratio 3 is to 4 that means the line is joined by two points the points are 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 7 the line is joined by points the points are 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 7 so consider the first point as x1 y1 consider second point as x2 y2 the line is joined by two points 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 7 first point take it as x1 y1 that is x1 is 1 y1 is 3 x2 is 2 y2 is 7 and they have given the ratio the line is divided in the ratio that is m1 is to m2 equals 3 is to 4 what is the ratio 3 is to 4 what is the ratio 3 is to 4 what are the points 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 7 Consider first point as x1 y1. Second point as x2 y2. What is the ratio? 3 is 4. The ratio is 3 is 4. That means the line is divided in the ratio 3 is 2 to 4. Okay. To find the point, the point which divides the line segment, that is P of x comma y. We need to find out the point P of x comma y which divides the line segment in the ratio 3 is to 4. Hope you have understood the question. The question is, a line is joined by two points, 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 7 in the ratio 3 is to 4. You should find out the point which divides the line in the ratio 3 is to 4. We should use section formula. What is the formula to find out the point? It is section <coughs> formula. The section formula is used to find out the point which divides the line segment in the ratio 3 is to 4. The formula is P of x comma y equals P of x comma y equals M1 x2 plus M2 x1 divided by M1 plus M2. Then M1 as it is, then instead of x2 we write y2. Here M2 as it is, we write y1. The denominator is same, M1 plus M2. This is x coordinate, this is y coordinate. In x coordinate, we we'll find out only x, x2, x1. In y coordinate, y2, y1. So P of x comma, repeat the formula. P, P of x comma y equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. So this is an important formula to find out the point. The point which divides the line segment in the ratio 3 to 4 and this year we will expect we will get this question for 2 marks. Watch the complete video to get the practice question. P of x comma y plus. First step write down the given data. The given data is in the question. The given these three data are in the question. Next section formula you should write half marks plus half marks. First step is writing the given data. Second step is writing the formula. For writing the data, what is data means information which is already there in the question. For this you will get half marks. Writing formula half marks. Substitution. What is M1? M1 here is 3. 3 into what is X2? 2. What is M2? 4. M2 is 4. What is x1? 1. 4 divided by what is m1? 3 plus 4. m1 is 3. m2 is 4. 
gamma what is m1 3 3 into what is y2 7 plus what is m2 4 4 into what is y1 3 3 4 divided by what is m1 3 4 m1 is 3 m2 is 4 writing the data which is in the question writing the formula you should be, you should first you should learn the formula after learning the formula you will be, be able to solve the problem the next step in all the problems first step is writing the formula the next step will be substituting the given data we are just you have substituted the values next step is simplification now first multiply Do multiplication. Three into two is six. P of x comma y equals three two is a six plus four into one four divided by seven. Three plus four is seven. Comma what is three into seven? Three times seven is twenty one plus four times three is twelve divided by seven. Now p of x comma y equals six plus four is ten divided by seven. What is twenty one plus twelve? It is thirty three divided by seven. So the point is, what is the point? The point is ten comma seven comma thirty three comma seven. So this point. Divides the line segment joined by the points one comma three and two comma seven in the ratio three to four. If you solve this using these four steps, you will get two marks. First step is what is the first step? For all the questions in mathematics, first you will understand the question, then you will write the given data, the information which is there in the question. And you should know what you are finding out. That means what the question is. Next, you should write the relevant formula. Then substitution, simplification, final answer. All these steps you get two marks. Do you have any doubt? Yes. After that, yes. First step is now. Give me the data. Huh? Give me the data. Give me the data. Give me the data. It's in the question itself. If you understand the question, half of the problem you will be able to solve there itself. The first step is you should understand the question. You will have 15 minutes to read the question paper in the final examination. In that 15 minutes, what are the maximum questions possible? You should read the question. You should understand. Okay? Then formula, same formula, means I bagi beko ano din na mind that think mind it kobe. Next substitution mind beko. While substitution, you should be very careful because you will be substituting one, two, three, four, five, six, six values, six variables values substitute multiple. On the other need that no, 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 no substitute multiple. If you make any one mistake here, instead of m one three, if you substitute m one as four, the whole problem will be wrong. So substitution should be taken care. Then simplification and here. 10 divided by 7. It is not completely divisible. You can keep as it is. If it is divisible, you should divide and you should keep it in the simple form. Got it? Yes. This is question number four in target 80 out of 80. If you want to score 80 out of 80, you should completely learn all the questions. 